Look guys, it's, a, it's an exciting time for any young lad that gets drafted to a club. Um, it's no different for these young lads. You know, exciting, but also daunting. You know, very daunting, you know, walking into a, a new club with his 40 new teammates they've got to get to get to know over the next, you know, coming months as well. So, uh, first I just want to introduce you lads from uh, individually, Cameron McCarthy, South Fremantle boy, Rory Lobb, Swan Districts, Joshua Kelly, Sandy Dragons and Tom Boyd from the Eastern Rangers, guys. So can you please make them welcome into our footy club? Yeah, it's always pretty big. It's exciting also. Um, you know, the boys, the boys got here Monday. It's a big week, but it's also exciting. They get a chance to meet their new teammates and um, obviously see where they're living um, and just introduce themselves to uh, the system. Well, I think importantly, um, we have an induction which we ran on Tuesday, and that's, that, that induction um, goes through you know, from John Quinn from Sport Science to you know, to media sections to uh, to the welfare component. Obviously, Leon Cameron, our head coach, talks about expectations of the players and what their commitment has to be to our footy club. Um, you know, our general manager of football, Graham Allen, talks about the structures, um, who's in charge, and how it all runs. Um, and we also got Luke Powell to talk to the boys. Um, you know, Luke was a 17 year old that went to Brisbane Lions a long time ago and has lived their life. So um, he talked about his experiences early in his career, you know, the ups and downs and all that, because they all look at these, um, these guys who play 200 games and think they've had no anxiety or, or stresses in their lives. Yeah, it did getting up and knowing that you're going to leave your bed and you're not going to be in it for a couple of weeks probably real hurt, but it was good. And once you got to the airport, say goodbye to the family, mum flicked on the sunnies at 4 30. It was a bit emotional, but it was good to get on the plane and get going. Well, I was in and out of footy and basketball as a kid and uh, obviously I was playing footy when I, at school. Um, when I left school I went into basketball and I played basketball SBL for Kalamunda. Uh, played four years there, I think through, through juniors, I think it was like uh, 18s and 20s. Yeah, so I really enjoyed my cricket. Like, I probably was more passionate about cricket when I was younger. And really strived to do well in that and made the State 17 squad last year but didn't make the touring side. And, then cricket season sort of just finished, so I thought I'd just give footy a crack and see how I went in that and sort of paid off in a way. Growing up, I always supported West Coast, uh, obviously being a WA boy, uh, the whole family was actually West Coast. Uh, really modelled my game on Dean Cox, watching him when I was younger and uh, obviously when I started playing, I started watching footy again, watching West Coast and yeah, I really like the way he plays. And Well, I'm a die-hard Freya supporter, I was a member when I was younger, so I went through the, the hard times, not winning many games, but this year they came good, which was good, and I really, I look, look up to Nat, well, obviously Pav when I was younger, then Nat Five came in, he's just a freak, and also Chris May, which is his forward pressure, I think it's amazing. After the induction, and obviously arriving on Monday, seeing where they live, to get out there and be able to train with their new teammates, meet their new coaches, they all look really excited. Um, you know, they were really tired that night. They had an early night. They, had, they went to the palace and had a nice steak with, uh, with Gubby Allen. But I, I spoke to a few of the boys. They went to bed quite early, and um, and a few of them are going to be looking for cars uh, this afternoon. Uh, yeah, the ground was pretty heavy actually. Obviously, not running for a little while. The legs were a bit heavy after we've uh, started doing it. I think we did four 200s. So. Yeah, felt, a bit, felt it a bit after that and then just got through the drills. And so surreal, like, even you watch these guys play, play footy on TV and all of a sudden be sitting, sitting down having tea with them, going out and doing stuff with them, even kicking a footy with them at training. It's just it's unbelievable. It's quite busy, but as I said before, it's, it's, it's really exciting. I mean, the, 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 the group of players that we're getting to this footy club uh, excites all of us. I mean, uh, and that's a credit to their parents, the way they've been brought up, and we just can't wait to sort of get rid of the 2014. This, this club will be built as a family club, and um, we say that to all the parents and all the players. We, we want them to come along for the journey. We always knew the first two, three years were going to be tough, and we had to build it. Um, but uh, have the parents come up here consistently like they have over the last two or three years, 
um, we love it, you know, and it's, uh, it's, you know, it's taunting for, for, for parents when their kids move away from home, but hopefully uh, we can prove to them over this year and hopefully the next coming 10, 12, 14 years that their kids are in good hands.